we're going to take a look at the basic features of a follow spot. Follow spots come in all shapes, sizes, brightnesses, wattages, different types of lamps. But there's a few basic things we find on all of them. When we look at the follow spot, we'll actually start to realize that it has all of the same features of the ellipsoidal. And that means there's a lamp in the back and lenses in the front. That makes this instrument focusable. To focus this particular instrument, we use these slides on the side. We loosen the handle, we move the slide, and then adjust the second one to get a nice, crisp, clean edge that is clear from where the light is to where the light stops. After we focus it, the main controls for this instrument are on the top, and there's three. The first is a fade shutter. It fades the light completely out. The next is a chop shutter. Just like on the ellipsoidal, if we imagine sliding in the top and the bottom, that's what this control does. The last is the iris. And the iris makes the beam larger or smaller. Follow spot operators are constantly adjusting the iris. Because the further the beam of light travels, the larger it gets. The closer it shine, the closer the object it's shining on, the smaller that beam will be. Because performers are constantly moving within the performance space, as they move upstage, we'll need to adjust the iris to be smaller as we follow them, and as they move downstage, we'll adjust the iris to be larger. So we're keeping the beam of light a constant size in relation to the performer. The follow part of this instrument is pretty self-explanatory. We're going to push it around. We'll control, we'll control the pan as well as the tilt. And this is a job that humans are particularly good at. A human can anticipate what another human's going to do, and so the follow spot operator is able to fluidly follow a performer on stage. Computers aren't quite there yet. They tend to look reactionary as they follow performers. And so this job remains an entry-level job in a lot of spaces where live performances happen. You might show up to your first day and they're like, hey, nice to meet you. Come with me. Here's the follow spot. Get comfortable. The last feature of this instrument is the boomerang. It's a funny name for essentially the gels. We would take them down, lock them in place. We would release them with this lever right here. All follow spots have slightly different function in the boomerang, but they will have a boomerang. This particular follow spot has a different type of lamp than the conventional instruments that we've been looking at in other videos. This lamp rather than creating the light by having a squiggly wire within the glass and the electricity going over the wire and the resistance glowing and causing the, the light energy, this works a little differently. It has inside the glass two tiny rods. And when we turn it on, a capacitor stores up the energy until it has enough to cause a spark to jump from one to the other. After the spark jumps, it maintains that electricity jumping from rod to rod. And that's where the light source is in an instrument like this, as well as other instruments in your performance space. That lamp source creates a very bright light. And the light that comes from an instrument with a lamp like this tends to be bright, but also very white. And it doesn't have that sort of yellow hue that the conventional lights that we've been looking at do. That's great. The brighter, the better when it comes to a follow spot. 
but it makes these lamps a little more expensive. And we're pretty conservative about the way we use them. Each time we turn them on, the rods get shorter as the first spark jumps across. As the rods get shorter on a lamp like this, the lamp gets dimmer and dimmer. We are careful that once we've turned them on, we leave them on and we don't lose that much of the rod again and again and again, causing the light to be dimmer. In a pair of hollow spots, you can't just change one lamp. You have to change both. So as you run a follow spot like this with an HMI lamp, please be careful. You don't turn it off if you're going to use it in the next three hours or so. And that's a basic follow spot.